Most sunscreens are made to prevent skin cancer, not aging. SPF only measures UVB, but the ones that age your skin, that's UVA, specifically UVA1, and SPF says nothing about that. UVA protection is important, but UVB also causes skin aging, and the evidence so far shows that it causes at least as much as UVA. It's a myth that UVA causes way more skin aging, and it definitely doesn't cause it all. So even sunscreens that aren't broad spectrum will do a lot. And most sunscreens in the US are broad spectrum now. I don't know the last time I saw a proper sunscreen that wasn't. This is mostly a problem with products like foundations with SPF. Now, interestingly, the day before, this dermatologist sent me a DM saying he loved my content and he learned a whole bunch about UVA from me. So you might think he would appreciate a pretty polite, I think, heads up, but he unfollowed me after this. And I could be wrong, but it's very unlikely that someone who worded things in a way that reinforced common myths and only learned about UVA1 in the last six months spotted a massive flaw in a leading expert's arguments. I think it's much more likely that he didn't want to correct this post because fear-mongering is great for selling products. Over 2,000 people commented to get his list of sunscreens. This is an Amazon link, he gets a cut if you buy products through it. And of course, people are going to buy new products if they think their sunscreen isn't working. I have no problem with Amazon affiliate links I use them, but I have a big problem with misleading people, probably knowingly, to get them to buy new products. And I think it's especially bad for sunscreen because it is hard enough for most of us to find a sunscreen that we like enough to use consistently. Saying most options don't work is, I think, pretty irresponsible. 